But the only, right many parts that the only thing, come and look at it, Shane. The only part clearly wrong was at the end when you said we've got to get him out of here as you got strung at the end. And I think it has to be a last <clears throat> desperate begging, you know. And I still think you shouldn't jump on every single emphatic line. It looks fake. It really does. It looks like you, uh, when I'm that nervous, it's a lot Shelley, I'm telling you, it's too many times. Every time he speaks emphatically, you're jumping, and it looks funny. So he says, I'll put on my super massive No, I think that no, line lays, is right. Right. When he lays down. No, I think that line's in the right place. Okay, because, okay Shelley, so you say, what's the matter with you first? Because what's the matter is, I mean, why are you so angry? What is the matter with you? It doesn't mean, what are you talking about? Well, this is where he lays down, though. That's the only thing I was thinking of. You know, when he flops back on the bed. Since that is new, I thought it, it fit. You know, what's the matter with you? If you if you talk, <coughs> and then he say blows this up. right, I'd rather say it now. Okay. Right. Well, I talked to her while she was in this country, and I asked her about a rumor then strongly going the rounds that the meticulous Stanley Kubrick had made her do 127 takes of one of her scenes. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm supposed to say 18, <laughs> but. I don't know. I'll leave that to your imagination. Well, let us assume that 18 is a slight underestimate and 127 is possibly closer to the truth. What is it like doing a take that many times? I mean, is it possible to just to keep going and, and produce a kind of freshness at the end? Yes, it is. It's funny. It's something that I discovered during the making of The Shining was that I, I had never done more than, say, 15 takes before in my life. So it was a great change for me to... Uh, do so many but then it, after you do a certain number it sort of goes dead and then five more takes or so and it revives itself and by then you know the scene like the back of your hand and you can make no mistakes with it and and you forget all reality other than what you're doing and it's it's like a miracle it comes out better than it did before and it's fresh too what was the most difficult piece of acting you had to do in The Shining? Ooh, I think it was just stamina. I, my stamina has increased so much since The Shining. I mean, you really have to be strong for an entire day because the role um, required me to cry all day long, every day, and it was so difficult being hysterical for that length of time. So how do you look back on that film? I mean, are, are you pleased to have done it? I'm very pleased to have done it because I've learned more on that picture and strengthened myself and broadened the scale that my emotions can reach, I think, uh, more than any other picture I've ever done. And Stanley took the time to teach me 